It is currently the 13th of June and it's quarter to nine in the morning, which means you are about to sit paper two and therefore I don't have anyone to teach online or to tutor. So I'm about to sit paper one to see was it as bad as everyone said? How did I find it? Was it really more application than you think? And to experience some of these notorious questions. Now, I'm not going to be sharing any of the exact content because they are locked papers, but I will give you my overall reaction, my thoughts, and whether I do think it was more or less than the amount of application questions that you feel. So here I go. Now, unfortunately, I've searched my entire flat and I can't find a ruler anywhere. So embarrassingly, any questions that require measuring or drawing straight lines, I'm gonna struggle with because I've got a tape measure. But let's see how we do. Two hours, off I go. Okay, I'm nine minutes in, and so far I've completed the 15 marks at the back, and I've done question one, which from what people said, those were the ones that were fine. Now I'm about to get into the uncharted territory. Question two, let's see how it goes. Okay, just a quick update. First of all, it's boiling hot in here, so I completely sympathise what it must be like in a boiling hot exam room. Secondly, I've only got question nine left to do, and I'm an hour and five minutes in. So one more question to do. Whew. Let's hope I don't pass up from the heat. Let's go. Actually, I better have a drink. Done. Right. That took an hour and 11 minutes. Now, if I was actually doing this as my A level, because I now have 50 minutes to go, I would check through every single question, obviously. I was just doing this for the purposes of finding out what my opinions were of the paper. Now, I've not done a full analysis yet looking at exactly how much was application compared to knowledge base compared to maths but my perception of just doing it then was number one the topics that had come up from my previous past paper analysis video which were the commonly assessed ones and the ones that hadn't been assessed much in 23 or 24 and therefore might be more likely to come up they did come up so um, i won't mention them because i said i'm not allowed to disclose the content of this paper I hide it um so i'm not allowed to disclose the content of the paper so i'm not going to mention those but my feeling was it was mainly those topics plus some others um as with these papers it's often hard to tell which required practical it is linking to because it's normally more linking to the required practical skills which means look at the apparatus and techniques table that was definitely the case in this paper as well because um there was one apparatus in particular that did come up from that table that was assessed i can remember straight away off the top of my head um maths i don't feel like there was loads of maths i think there was only like three maths questions plus there was one link to a graph so maybe four maths questions that is probably like 10 marks maximum. Um, and considering it can only be 10% of the entire A-level, probably wasn't quite 10 marks, maybe nine marks, and then that is 10%. So I do think there was an appropriate amount of maths questions. I find maths the hardest, 
Um, there was one maths question you might notice from the video that it took me longer to do than the others. Obviously, I've not got the mark scheme, so I don't know how I've done. By the way, when the mark scheme comes out, I'm going to mark this and find out what score I would have got, and I'll share that with you as well. So for me, someone that finds the maths hard, I do think there was an appropriate amount of maths, and I didn't think there were any maths questions that blew my mind being ridiculously hard, but there were some that were more challenging than others. The start of the paper, there was a lot of AO1, but many people came out of this paper saying they felt that there was far more than the 34% application. Now, I've not actually added this up to calculate it, but I think the reason people feel that way is the questions at the end, if you ignore the extended response, so questions like seven, eight, and nine, those are always the ones that have the majority of the application questions, and the earlier ones are more AO1 based with some application in. But because those ones are at the end, and they are by far the hardest questions on the paper, that is what's freshest in your mind, is the struggle from doing those and the amount of time those would have taken you to do compared to the ones that were quicker to do. So I think that's why there's been this perception that there was loads of application. I don't think there was more than usual. So it was the typical amount of application. It just feels like there was way more because it's towards the end and they were quite obscure examples. Now there was one question, again, I'm not allowed to refer to the content. There was one question in this where a lot of you said, that's a paper two topic, why was that on the paper one? And I do know exactly the question you mean. The reason that it felt like that is because they're using paper two terminology, but the answer was nothing to do with what you learn in paper two. The answer was actually linked to what you learn in topic two, from paper one. So it was still paper one content. They just applied it to a paper two topic, which made it confusing, potentially unnecessarily confusing. That's not really for me to judge, but I guess the reason they're doing it is to try and test your knowledge more holistically to see how things link together. But I do fully see why that would have thrown people, especially when you're in an exam with the nerves. So that one was potentially a bit harsh, but it was still paper on content. Um, so that's my general first overview of the paper. Like I said, I've not done a full data analysis on it. I've literally just sat the paper. Those were my thoughts. There we go. Hopefully paper two went okay. You're about to finish paper two in an hour. I'm sure I'll hear from you all then. Oh, right, I'm gonna go have a drink and cool down now, everyone. Bye.